What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Notre Dame Week Zero and the college football season kicking off. A few games this week, obviously, we had the Notre Dame and Navy game, which was in Dublin, Ireland, which has been a theme around Week Zero college football. Obviously, last year was Northwestern and Nebraska. This year, it was Notre Dame and Navy. We also had the USC games. There was a few other not so big if you were like just a casual watch you probably didn't see any of these games but the ohio versus san diego state game was an interesting one uh jacksonville state was a good game so there's there was a few um really good games obviously usc played san jose state and it was pretty competitive till halftime after halftime usc got it together but hopefully USC gets that defense together moving forward. I'll probably make another video on them uh, tomorrow, maybe. Now everyone has clicked on this video to talk about or hear about Notre Dame and what they did in week zero. Obviously, they played Navy. Obviously, we thought that Notre Dame was going to be really good this game. You know, they're playing Navy, not a tough opponent. But, you know, you knew Navy had some attributes that... In previous games versus really good competition, Navy, Army, have made games competitive. People thought that this game would be closer just because of the way that Navy plays with that option offense, like the running down the clock, but it really wasn't close. Game handled them. Now, I just want to talk about Sam Hartman, and I made a video talking about Sam Hartman and uh, Notre Dame being one of the most underrated teams, and it's weird because Notre Dame is a national team everyone knows about Notre Dame football but the thing is with Notre Dame is what I thought made them a sleeper is I don't think people realize that you know Notre Dame you know Ian Book was a really good quarterback but Sam Hartman is a very good quarterback and you saw that versus Navy even though it's not the best opponent but you know he did do his thing you know, this Notre Dame team looked really good they spread the ball around. My worry was the receivers, the playmakers that they have around Sam Hartman. Will they step up? And they looked good today. Guys were making good catches, uh, running really good routes, and they're playing really good football. The defense we knew with Marcus Freeman, they're going to be good. Besides this Navy game, we also had to look forward in the future. There's going to be a lot of gains that Notre Dame is going to have to pull out of the rug. Like, USC... Clemson, those are going to be tough games to win, and you got to win at least one of them. And if you can do that, you're in position to make a college football playoff appearance. Notre Dame looked good. I think they had the potential to do that. I think they have the, I think they had the tools to beat USC. Clemson, I think, is a really tough matchup for them, but you know they could easily win that game too. At the face of Ohio State, and that was the last team that's going to be really difficult to go two and one. Or you know, obviously, if they went three, you know, they're not going to be a top three team in the country if they do that. But it, they have a very tough schedule, it's not going to be easy. So that's my only concern. You know, I could easily see this Notre Dame team making a appearance in the college football playoff if it wasn't, you know, the schedule that they have. They got dealt a not a good hand, but I like it though because we'll get to see Notre Dame and test them and you know whatever happens happens. But this team's gonna take a big leap from the first year of Marcus Freeman. I think that should be a really good thing. Um you know, just the ability to go in a transfer portal and do what they did. I really like what they did. That's why I had Notre Dame as one of my sleepers. But yeah, I, I'm here, man. I think Sam Hartman's going to have a huge year. I think he's going to get drafted to NFL. I think he could be a really uh, good quarterback in the NFL. Moving forward, Notre Dame has to stay solid if they want to compete at the highest level possible. But that'll do it for me. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.